This tiny little workflow saves me hours per day, not per week, per day. How? Because Fathom AI joins my calls, transcribes them, gets the highlighted points, gets the key takeaways, emails them to me, then it moves and adds all of this so that we have it for history inside of a database and Notion and additionally then sends a specific email to recipients based on the content that I want them to receive. So specifically from ChatGPT. And all of this here, literally, you can plug this in and make it in like five minutes. So in today's video, I'm going to show you Fathom AI, what it is, how to use it, and how to create this Zapier workflow. So Fathom AI, as it says, it increases productivity with the number one rated AI note taker. Basically, it's an AI assistant that joins your calls, whether that's on Zoom, Teams, or Google Meet. And it's completely free, doesn't train your data, it just joins your calls transcribes them, allows you to highlight key points, etc. So as you can see here, for example, you can get key takeaways. They can be in a sales format. They can be in a customer success format, one-to-one -one format, whatever it may be. They have standardized templates so that you can get the best results for your meeting. Now, you have no more post-meeting data entry either because it can integrate exactly into your CRM. Additionally, we can actually share clips, not text. So something that I'm really big on is leveraging Loom. If I have like a little problem, I take a five minute video and I can just share the link. Now, for clips inside of big long calls, because like how many times do you say to someone, oh, we talk about it in this call, where? You're like, I don't know. I don't know where in the call. Now, now you do. You can just share that clip. Additionally, you can ask Fathom, so it's literally a chatbot to your meetings. Amazing. And it can work with your tools as well. So as I was showing you with Zapier, you can integrate it to then link it up with the Google Suite. You can link it with Notion. Click up everything, right? As you can see here, if it exists, Fathom probably supports it. So let me log in to my new account. So let me show you. So we'll sign up for free actually to show you how it works. So it takes you like two or three minutes. You just click sign in. We'll select an email. And so the first thing you can decide is what you want to auto record. So all your meetings or none of them, and you can just select when you want it to record. I just go for all of them and I want a summary and a recording. So as you can see, recommended for GDPR. So we continue on that, it will then ask you, where do you work? So for example, sales, customer success, blah, blah, blah. And this is because it can tailor what the summary is based on what your role is. So for example, for me, oh, I would just probably pick other to be fair um, as my role as, let's say I'm an exec. And then if you have a CRM, you can plug it in. We'll just go none, click continue. And how do you plan on using it? Just by myself. And continue here and now all you do is download Fathom. Now it will download it and just as per normal for Mac if you're Windows just follow the Windows setup. Mac just click and drag in there when it loads up. Don't get fooled this is a picture this isn't the actual thing. <laughs> it will then pop up and you can drag and drop that there. So now that you're signed up you'll be landed with this page here. Don't mind my face in here I was doing a, a little call just to <laughs> just to check it out but you can see that you can actually start a test call. Now this test call is with Zoom, so if you use Zoom, you can connect it there. But if you're more into Google, which is what I use personally, just because it's easier, easier, easier to integrate with my suite of tools that I leverage, inside Google Meets, if you click on New Meeting, you can then add Fathom AI in, but first, you have to go and install the Chrome extension. And then once you install it, it will be up here. And we can see da, 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 Fathom AI. And so what we can do now is if we just click new meeting, we'll just start an instant meeting. And then now it will then pop up and it will say, oh, there's me, two times me. It will pop up here. You can see record this call using Fathom. So if we click on that call there, then someone wants to join, let's let them in. It is now my Fathom note taker. So you can see here now that it's waiting for attendees to join. So it doesn't just start recording straight away because it expects other people. Because there's no one else here, what we'll do is, if we go over here, we can see, if you pop that down, it tells you the meeting that you're in now. So on Google Meets, it's automatically 15 minutes. And then it's awaiting attendees. But you can skip that and just start straight away. So if you have, say, some monologue you're going to record, even a YouTube video or something, right? You see that it will start connecting. And there we go, Fathom is now recording and taking notes, as you can see here. And so now everything we talk about will be recorded and you can take the notes. Additionally here, we can then highlight things. So this is where I was saying you can highlight things and share them with other people. So we'll click on highlight, you know, we can then see rewinding to, whoop, 
doing there we go and as you can see highlight has popped up boom and we'll say that's enough in that highlight and then you can also select these buttons as well now once you're done with your recording what we can do is just come over to here again and we can either end it or pause it or whatever you might want to do we'll just click on end and it'll end the recording and boom that's you so now you can copy this link share it with people who missed the recording or you can view the recording and the summary so if we view recording and summary you can see it pops open here and there we go so we can see now the highlighted part here and there we go Fathom is now recording and taking notes and there we go so and as you can see now it's just generating the notes bam that's it so meeting purpose key takeaways topics etc etc as well now once you're done so click on. see oh, and if you click on them it actually matches you here to where you said the thing additionally you can get transcripts so you can just get the actual transcript so this is where i say you can highlight things and share Oops. and you can actually change parts as well so there you go edit change speaker trim etc and you can search the transcript or you can just ask Fathom to tell you stuff that happened in the meme, which is amazing. Like just this on its own is fantastic. Now, as I was saying, you can actually change here to what you want it to be. So general, this is just the general overview, but you can change this to sales ones, Q and A, demo, customer success, etc. So it really tailors the summary for you. And then you can obviously copy the summary as well if you want to then add it somewhere else. But instead of having to do all this manually, what you can do is set up Zapier for it. So in Zapier, there's a bunch of different ways you can automate with Fathom. A couple of good examples are, for example, keeping your team in the loop so you can send channel messages in Slack for new recordings. That's a handy one. Another one here is creating new tasks in ClickUp for new action items. So if you use ClickUp in your work, leverage that. And then you can also save transcripts to files and databases as well as create new database items. So this is the one that we are actually using here. So if you click on try, and I'll put the links in the description below. If we go over here, see it pops up. And literally all you have to do is log in with your account here, and then it will configure it through. And then in Notion, you just have to log in. So you select your account. And then when you select your account, you can select the page you want to link it to. So if we go to configure, database, and then we can select the database. So for me, it's the one that I gave access to. And like that is literally, you just add the values now that you want in. So example of the name, so we'll do forward slash. Let's say click the first step first. And it'll test the trigger. So it'll pull in the latest summary. And there we go, continue with that. And then configure, let's see here. So field mapping, forward slash. And we'll do meeting title as the name. Date fields, we'll add in the date. So let's say date, we'll say start, we'll say start time, there we go. Um, and then that's us, content, full slash, and the content, let's add in the summary. So we'll just do plain text formatted. Continue, and then test this step, and then that should be you. It will then just send this information to Notion, which is amazing as well as you have in the email summary, which will now be in Gmail. So we can see here now that we actually have this new summary from the one we were just talking about. And we can just click on parts here and boom, takes you straight to the meeting, right? Which is amazing. So back to Zapier, we can see that that's what in here. So what we'll do is we'll go over and you can see a new one's just popped up here and it has added this in with the key takeaways, etc. Now, the next part, and this is just kind of for ideas of how to leverage this going forward, is if we click on Add Step, we can then add something like ChatGPT. And from here, you can get ChatGPT to do a bunch of stuff. So now you can get it to, you know, analyze image stuff. You can get it to create images now with their, their API. You can get it to analyze sentiment. So if it's a client call, you want to remember, yeah, what happened in it, but like, how was the client, etc. <laughs> you know, classified text, conversation, you can actually just leverage some of the text as prompt to the LLM. So if you have questions which arose, get those action points for those questions, send them to ChatGPT, send the responses as an email, that kind of thing in, in Zapier. So as you can see, it is such a powerful tool. And uh, I've been using Fathom now to really streamline this because as a solopreneur, it is really difficult to manage your time. Um, you know, and even just as an employee, it's really difficult to manage your time. And just taking notes and a notepad 
is is not worth it. It is a nightmare. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Go and check out Fathom dot video, Fathom AI, and um, streamline your note taking today. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.